Okay, so the last part of theme one is unit 1.10, which is inverse functions. So it basically builds up uh, from unit 1.8 where we started off with inverse functions. Okay, so we do know the trick functions are not specifically one on one functions because they do repeat themselves after, pro uh, for example, uh, sine repeats after 180 degrees. Okay, so in order to avoid that, so it's that we only have uh, a one-to-one -one function so that we can get the inverse, uh, we're going to be using a certain specific range for each of the functions. Okay, so we're only going to use a range where the two functions are one-to-one. -one. Okay, so sine, so with sine, we're going to get arc sine, arc sine of x. So arc sine of x equal to y if and only if sine y, so you take that on that side, is equal to x. And our y, our y value, so that's our range, is between negative pi over 2 to pi over 2, inclusive. Okay, so what does the graph of sine look like on negative pi over 2 to pi over 2? So this is negative pi over 2, and that's over 2. So the graph basically looks like so I'm going to put 1 and negative 1 so it's going to start over there and over there. So this side is climbing and getting to up down now. Then this side it was looking down so now over here, less like that. So that is the graph of sine, the sine x on negative pi over two to pi over two. And so now we have to plot a graph of arc sine on the same axis, just to show you the two different graphs. So with the graph of arc sine, it's now pi over 2 over here and negative pi over 2 over there. Okay, and then 1, so it's negative 1 and 1. Okay, so this one now is going up until there and starting over there. And over here, so let me just use a different kind of pen. So it's I'm going to be using the black pen. Okay, so over here it's more or less climbing. So it's like that up until there, and then goes on over here to here is like that. So over here you have your y equal to x graph. So this y equals x graph is more like a reflection of the graphs. So if you have sine x in this particular in this particular at this particular point, then you reflect it about the y equals x line and then you get your arc sine, arc sine of x. So arc sine of x is just a reflection of sine x about the y equal to x line. So these are the two graphs, sine and arc sine. Okay, so cancellation equations. So arc sine of sine x is equal to x, where x ranges from negative pi over 2 to pi over 2, and sine of arc sine of x is equal to x as well, where x ranges from negative 1 to 1, inclusive. Okay, so moving on, we have arc cos of x being equal to y, if and only if cos y is equal to x and we're going to be using the range 0 to pi so so that's your 0 there we have pi and I'm going to have 1 over there okay and over to there, okay, 
then a negative one and then also cos and start over here and and down there and over here it's like coming down that and then over there it's now moving so that it goes and acts up okay so this one's for cos and then arc cos just going to extend it a little bit okay so the inverse is basically just going to be also a reflection of of our initial function about the y is equal to x line so over here we're going to have so this power 2 and then that's one okay and then i'm going to put pi over there then pi over two okay so it's going to start so i'm going to put negative one in there so step the end in there okay forgive me for the less than perfect graph then this is almost the representation okay then that's your y go to x y go to x so the blue one this one is the arc course and then that's the course x graph okay so moving on cancellation equations so our cost of cos x is equal to x and your x is between 0 and pi inclusive and then cos of our cos of x is equal to x and x is between negative 1 and 1 inclusive so these values of x are being taken from over here so this one, uh, if it's cos x, then it has to be an angle, and the angle is between 0 and pi. If it's a cos, then it has to be a number. The number is between negative 1 and 1. Same goes for sine. Okay, so arctan. So arctan of x is equal to y, if and only if tan y is equal to tan x. And we're going to be using the range negative pi over 2 to pi over 2, not inclusive. So then I'm just going to plot two graphs of tan x and arctan of x. Okay, so tan x on a range, negative pi over 2, negative pi over 2, and pi over 2 will look like Or something like that okay so we need to reflect this about the line y is equal to y is equal to x that line so over there, over here we're going to have pi negative pi over 2 and then pi over 2 over there okay so these are symptoms over there okay so this one goes like that so the black one over here is I'm going like that is your y is just at time of x Okay, so those are the two graphs that you, so those three graphs you have to know them. The one for sine and arc sine, uh cos and arc cos, tan and arc tan. Okay, so for the cancellation equations, arc tan, so it's tan of arc tan of x. So obviously it has to since you're dealing with arc tan to be a number, is about x if our x is an element of all real numbers. 
So according to the graph that we just plotted, this one you can see that our arctan takes all values of x. That's why x is an element of all our numbers. And then over here, arctan of tan of x is equal to x, so it's tan of x, so it has to be the angle is between negative two pi, negative pi over two, two pi over two. So this is equal to x if x is an element of negative pi over two to pi over two. So that's all in unit 1.10, inverse functions for the theory. Moving on to the questions. Okay, so the questions are going to be saying, sketch the graphs of the following pairs of functions on the same set of axes. Then the first, first one is sine x and arc sine of x. And when I was doing the explanation, I actually plotted these, these graphs. So I'm just going to draw this line using the green pen so that we know exactly where we are reflecting our graphs. And then over here we need pi over 2. On this side we need negative pi over 2. And then pi over 2 there. And then down here, negative pi over 2, and then negative 1, then 1, 1, negative 1. Okay, so sine runs from uh, negative pi over 2 at negative 1, this is there, to pi over 2, 1. So that's the one for sine, then the one for arc sine will be running from over there to there. Like that. So this will be your arc sine, sine of x, and that will be a sine of x. So please do know how to plot this graph, please. The next graph is cos x and arc cos of x. So I'm just going to plot that one as well. Okay, so with this one, still need negative one. Then one, one over there, negative one over there. So I'm just going to make it a, a little larger. We have pi over two and pi. And then over here, pi over two and pi. Okay, so let me just Plot the line again so that we know exactly where we're reflecting it. So that's our line. Okay, let me first of all draw the one for us for cos in black. Okay, so the one for cos is going to end here and it starts over there. Okay, like that. Then the one for arc cos ends over there and starts over there. Okay, just like that. So this will be a cos, 
then this will be a color fix. So that's that's just how you plot your graphs. So they're basically just reflections of y is equals to x. The next one is tan x and at tan of x. Okay, so this one. And here I'm going to have pi over 2, negative pi over 2, and pi over 2, negative pi over 2. Okay, and all of these are asymptotes. So I'm just going to draw these asymptotes. So an asymptote is a line which your graph cannot cross. So it's like a boundary for the graph. We are going to do more of asymptotes in theme 2 when you do limits and curve sketching. Okay, so those are asymptotes, and then that's the line. Okay, so the one. Uh, turn just that one well, let's take that and at turn So as you can see, Actan was still run towards the side and towards the side was turn rods upwards and downwards until infinity. So these graphs are the most important graphs that you must know uh, concerning trig functions and their inverses. Okay, so those are the most important concepts from theme one. Uh, so please just go through past papers and see if you can attempt the questions.